Parsifal by Richard Wagner. The synopsis is presented by Opera Inside, the online opera guide. The roles. Amfortus, King of the Holy Grail, Gornemans, Knight of the Holy Grail, Parsifal, Pure Fool, Klingsa, Renegade Knight, Kundry, Sorceress. The Prehistory. Once King Titural received from an angel the relics of Christ, the spear with which he was stabbed in the side on the cross of Golgotha, and the chalice with which Christ's blood was then captured. To protect these relics, he built the castle of Mont Salvat on the northern, Christian side of the mountain and founded the Order of the Knights of the Grail, which only men who remain chased out of inner conviction can join. Klingsa, a renegade knight, built himself a magic castle on the southern, Arabian side and sought to seduce the knights with his flower girls and steal the grail. Tichirul's son Amfortus set out to defeat Klingsa with the help of the spear, which can defeat even holy knights. In Klinga's magic garden, the chaste Amfortus was seduced by the demonic Hundry, and Klingsa was able to style the spear in a moment of carelessness. He kept it and struck Amfortus a wound that never should heal. In a forest in the mountains of northern Spain, not far from the Grail Castle Montsalvert. The Grail Knight Gornamans is at the forest lake not far from the castle. He is waiting with his squires at the edge of a forest lake for the king, who bathes in the cool lake every morning to let him forget his great pains for a moment. With him is Kundry, who has brought healing herbs from Arabia. Amfortus is carried here on a bed and gratefully accepts Kundry's herbs, if they do not heal the king. She too is at her wit's end. The squires ask who the mysterious woman is. Gornamans answers that she is a cursed woman who is expiating a debt. Half dead. She was found in the forest at the time when the terrible thing happened to Amfortus. He tells the squires the story of Amfortus' wound, which has tormented him for years and has not closed since. The spear lies unreachable at Klingsa. In prayer, a voice had appeared to Amfortus prophesying that only a pure fool, knowing through pity, could succeed in recovering the spear. Now a man appears with a dead swan in his hand, which he had shot from the sky with his bow. Gornamans admonishes him that hunting is forbidden here. He demands to know the name of the hunter. Parsifal declares not to know his name. Kund retells that he was raised as a fool by his mother Herzlide. Gornamans then invites the young man to the castle in the hope of meeting the fool who will one day bring back Lynx's spear. In the Hall of Montsalvat, Parsifal witnesses the communion ritual to which Gornamans invites him, in order to win Parsifal over for their cause. Solemnly the knights march up. Finally, Amfortus is carried in. One hears the voice of Amfortus' father Tichurul, who admonishes his son to perform his duties and to begin the life-sustaining ceremony, but Amfortus, tormented by his pain, which is intensified by the chalice ritual, longs for death. The bowl is ceremoniously unveiled, a ray of light penetrates from above and the bowl shines in a brilliant purple color, Amfortus blesses the bread and wine. The knights take communion, Amfortus then leaves the hall followed by the knights, Gornamans and Parsifal remain behind. Questioning, the knight turns to the fool. But he remained unimpressed and Gornamans throws him out of the hall with the words, So you are only a fool then. In Klingsa's magic castle. Kundri has returned to Klingsa, he was able to lure her to him again. Parsifal approaches the castle on his way from Mont Salvat and Klingsa orders Kundri to seduce him, as she once did with Amfortus. Parsifal appears in Klingsa's garden. There the flower girls try to seduce Parsifal, but without success. Kuhn re-enters this scene in transformed form as a young woman. She calls him Parsifal and thus reveals his true name. She tells him about his mother, who wanted to protect him. Now she has died in his absence out of worry. Self-reproach and pity for his mother sees Parsifal and Kuhn tries to exploit his grief. But the kiss on his mouth, which she disguises as a last greeting from his mother, has the opposite effect. Through her embrace he now feels pity and he recognizes Amfortus' pain and he pushes Kundri away. Kundri does not give up, she wants him to feel pity for her and redeem her, because she once laughed mockingly in the face of the savior on the cross, 
and has since suffered from Amfortus punishment and taken revenge on him. But Parsifal now knows his mission. Kundri sees the hopelessness of her action and calls Klingsa for help. He appears with the spear and hurls it at Parsifal's head. But Parsifal catches the flying spear and holds it above his head and banishes Klingsa's spell by drawing a cross with the spear. The castle sinks and the garden is withered to wasteland. Parsifal looks at Kundri, who has collapsed, and calls out to her that she knows where to find him. In the area of Montsalvet, it is spring. Gornamans hears a groan. He discovers Kundri lying half frozen on the ground. She is dressed in her penitential robe. When Gornamans wakes her up, she seems transformed. Then they discover a knight in the distance, who carries a spear in his hand. When he takes off his helmet, Gornamans recognizes the fool who was with them many years ago. Gornamans tells him about the decline of the knighthood, the death of Tichurul, who had to die without the life-giving effect of the ritual, and that Amfortus has been refusing the grail ritual for years, in order to force his death. Parsifal, for his part, tells him of his years-long, rocky journey in search of Montsalvert, exhausted, Parsifal collapses. Gornamans, knowing that he has Amfortus' successor before him, blesses Parsifal while Kund rewashes his feet. He then anoints Parsifal's head and welcomes him as Amfortus' successor. Parsifal, for his part, turns to Kundri and performs the baptism to release her from her torment and guilt. Now the three proceed to the castle. Parsifal carries the spear solemnly before him. In the great hall the aged Amfortus is before the shrine. Painfully he feels the guilt of his father's death because he never revealed the grail. The knights implore him to reveal the life-giving grail. Amfortus asks them to kill him to redeem him, and presents them his the wound. Parsifal enters this scene and touches the open wound with the tip of his spear, the wound instantly heals. He presents the spear to the knighthood and himself as the new king. Parsifal performs the ritual and the grail glows again. A white dove flies down from the dome and hovers over Parsifal's head, 